Welcome to the introduction to life cycle analysis. You may have heard the term life cycle before. It's often used to describe the birth, growth, and reproduction of living things. Take frogs, for example. They start off as eggs, hatch into tadpoles, grow into adult frogs, and then lay eggs of their own. Things that humans make have a life cycle too, but this kind of life cycle is a little different and includes how the object was made, used, and disposed of, with many other steps in between. Think about your family car. How did it get to you? Well, first it started with the extraction of natural resources like mined metals and fossil fuels. Those raw materials were then transformed into parts, and those parts were then put together to produce your car. After production, the car was transported, perhaps a very long distance, to a car dealership near you, where eventually it wound up with your family. The car is now used on a daily basis, requiring regular gas and vehicle maintenance, and maybe a new part here and there. Later on, your parents might decide to get a new car, and that old car will reach the end of its life. Sometimes the parts that make a car can be used to create another one, continuing the cycle of life for other cars. If not, then we might find the car abandoned in a scrapyard or landfill where its parts will find no future use. Pretty much everything we interact with has a life cycle, and understanding the impact of each product can help us make better informed decisions. In this unit, you will be learning about the life cycle of drinking water. Water is very important for our survival and maintained health, but have you ever really put much thought as to where the water you drink comes from? By the end of this unit, you will understand the life cycle of two important sources of drinking water, from your sink and from a bottle. You'll consider some of the costs and benefits associated with each option and be able to translate what you've learned into your own life and decision making. To get started, think about the last time you drank water. Now try and think about how that water got to you, listing every step possible.